Hi, welcome back. I am only three episodes in to the new Netflix series Wednesday and I am fully obsessed with the iconic iteration that Jenna Ortega has made of Wednesday. Oh my gosh, Wednesday Adams. And yeah, I was waiting till we're on holidays so I can binge the rest of this with Millie. I cannot wait, but I am, I am waiting. I am waiting. But in the meantime, I'm making a mini doll of of Wednesday, of this new version, because, well, did I mention hashtag obsessed? Yeah, she's just everywhere. So I just can't stop, won't stop, gonna make her. So this is of course gonna involve painting, but I need to get the base pieces first. And this is really exciting. The, this version is not pasty pale. They have Hispanic coloring. So this is so fun and also good because mini dolls, uh, we now have a few more characters in this nougat skin tone. So Amelia, gonna use her head as the base for this. Not the rest of her, but just her head because it's actually pretty close to perfect. Her eye color is not dark enough, but her smile is not super smiley. And trust me, that is really hard not to find in mini dolls. We need some more serious expressions, but this is close. So we're going to use this head as the base and then we need plaits. This hairpiece is actually pretty close to perfect. Yes, it is currently bright yellow. We're gonna paint it, obviously. But it has two plaits, even though I would have preferred plaits that go down over her shoulder. This one's got plaits and it's got the fringe. The fringe is also not as long as I would like it to be, but it it's really close. And I wanna use as much organic Lego produce stuff as possible, if I can. And just for funsies, here are the other hair pieces that I, you know, that I auditioned for this. Not very hard because they're terrible. So these are cursed. So this one, Anna's hair piece from the minifigures, where it doesn't even work on a mini doll. There aren't many hair pieces that don't go nicely across from minifigures to mini dolls. This is one of them. I'm never going to be using that on a mini doll. It is awful. The Dorothy hair piece looks really cute, but uh, that, that was never going to work for Wednesday Adams at all with the bows and all of that stuff. The Anna one from the mini dolls doesn't work either because the plaits are just too little and there's no fringe and lo I mean it doesn't work obviously it's very obviously not worky and then the moaning myrtle one is actually I really like the fringe on this and the color density and everything on it uh, her, it's obviously pigtails going down the side which isn't right and we need plaits and it also looks a little bit cursed like it's just attached to her cheeks but yeah I will I'd like some I'd like some more plat pieces for mini dolls. It would be really cute. But anyway, so this just goes to show that there is actually a piece that works really quite well for this, even if it is not quite the perfection I want it to be. It's pretty close. So for the torso, this is so good. I was so excited by this. Olivia, I've got multiple of these torsos because it was pretty standard Olivia top. It's the right, got the right skin tone and it's also got the little collar piece on it, which means when I'm painting this black, I can just avoid the little collar bit and paint that in white later. So easy. I love it when there's a bit of a painting hack for it because let's face it, I need all the help I can get. So for the bottom part, I didn't want to use the little short skirts because they're just wrong because Wednesday's skirts are always three quarter length. Perfect. Look at this Anna skirt piece. It's already got a base of black and the bronze is on the top. And if you want to just erase the bronze uh, from that before you paint on it. You can do with just a bit of what's it called fingernail polish remover. I actually use, you can use an eraser uh, or you can just paint over it. So this is the base that I started with. And at the moment it is entirely unconvincing, right? This does not look like Wednesday, but a little lick of paint. You want to see? Yeah, of course you do. That's the whole point. This is the reason you've stuck out this long. So for the skirt, painted it black. Painted over her shoes black, put little white spots on. Not quite as, as precise as I would have liked, but I still think it looks fantastic. I actually also even used a different paint on her shoes. <laughs> Don't know whether you can see it. They're just a little bit shinier on the little because she wears patent leather shoes, which are super shiny. And I just wanted to see if I could break up that black with more black, but just different black. <laughs> kind of effective. For her torso. Nice and easy too. Just painted it over black, put some little white cuffs on, painted in the color white, and put white spots on. Ugh. This was, I gotta say, the fact that we have Lego pieces that were so close already to what it was supposed to look like made this so much 
easier. Okay, for her head, let's bring in, bring in the head, which would sound even creepier if this wasn't an Adams Family <laughs> video. The only thing I've altered here is I've actually painted her eyes in dark brown. It's a little bit hard to see and there's a little bit that squizz down here into the white, which I can just push up kind of with my fingernail. There we go. So tiniest difference but I think it works as well I think it's worth it was worth doing and for her hair as the finishing touch and to just like round it all out this hair piece looks great in black it really really does I don't know whether Lego releases it in black at all but I have you know I had a spare blonde one so I painted what I have and oh my gosh I am so in love with this I've never actually liked the three-quarter length skirt in the mini dolls but adding it to a dress like this looks amazing now I wanted her to have an accessory and in the promotional picture she's got a big black umbrella but I don't there are no open umbrellas in black so I could try a closed one as an accessory but I don't know that that really works oh you know what she does need as an accessory she needs a human hand she needs thing so that's things easy to do just rip a hand out of a minifigure <laughs> the only problem is it can't stand up so if we want to stand it up we just need one of these little bar clip holdery things and it's see-through and you kind of have to suspend your disbelief and pretend that bit's not there so we've got thing so she can have thing as her companion which is really good because she has thing as her companion and we can make her a typewriter yeah okay so I have got a keyboard like an old-fashioned style typewriter keyboard yeah you know a manual typewriter so we got this and if we just put it on a two by two black plate and then with the little like brackety bits with the outward facing studs on either side that creates I mean I'm pretending I made this design but I didn't this is just the design of the typewriter in the once again in the same thing in the police in the police creator expert set and you pop the little bit of little bit of paper in the top so good ah uh, but i am gonna add the uh clicky backy lever thing i'm sure I, I remember at some stage what this was called the bit that you push back to make it go back to the start of the line but that's on the no it has to go on the other side because it's right-handed you push it back that way look at that i can actually hear the sound of it in my head and then it goes ding so we've got a typewriter nice i'll make a little table to put it on too just because i've started now <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. Oh my gosh. So we'll pop some legs on. This is not going to end up being a whole habitat. I refuse to do that. I'm not going to make a hole. Maybe I will one day, but not today. So having this little plate here with the two little jumper studs in the middle means that I can center the typewriter on the like this side gosh does any of that make sense on this side of the table rather than having it flush up right against the other side and then I can put thing here on this side of the table <laughs> thing you know not a thing but thing the thing with a capital T <laughs> oh my gosh all right so we've got a table got a typewriter looks so good I love this so much and I uh, experimented with making a cello for her and trying to make it like a convincing cello in mini figure or mini doll size was a, I mean you're gonna see this was the design I came up with doesn't quite work it kind of looks like a gothic new like art nouveau style cello but I don't care so we've got the spike down the bottom which is the bit that goes into the floor and we need the curves and this was the hardest part for me was creating the right ratio so that it's you know the right size to be held by a mini doll and I don't look let's just let's just put together my concoction and like I said we'll pretend it's just a bit of a gothic interpretation of a cello <laughs> a slightly ornate strangely shaped cello I think it's convincing enough I really need something to kind of round over the top but I didn't have anything that would fit into that space so if we have this as the fingerboard need to build that out a bit just so it's a little bit taller I mean, the point is, is can you look at it and go immediately, well, that's a cello? Almost, almost. I think I just, it, it's close. <laughs> it's close. Anyway, anywho, this is my cello. Here's the bow. And we can, I mean, she can, because it's the right size, she can hold it, which makes me very excited. I love this. What doesn't make me excited is the fact that mini dolls' wrists don't turn, so she's just going to have to hold the bow up in the air. But ah, you can you can only have what you have. You got to work with what you got. Okay, all right. I dissed my cello, but I actually think that it looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that. So she's got. We have got now got a Wednesday in mini doll form. Got a typewriter. Got thing. Got a cello. This was actually surprisingly easy to make. 
So, maybe Lego should make an Adams Family mini doll family. That would be so cool. I'm wondering if I should make Enid. I think that would be really fun, but I have yet to think about how I would do that. So let me know in the comments if you want that to happen. And yeah, I'll be back with another video really soon. In the meantime, I'm looking forward to binging the rest of this series. If only the holidays could start soon, please. Thank you. All right, see you soon. Bye.